Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews. We have more news today as always, so let's get straight to it. The very first thing that I want to show you guys are some super cool upcoming figures from Dino Mike Mac and the Paleo Revived line. This is basically Wave 2, and these are the larger articulated figures that will be coming in that line. First of all, we've got the Sukamimus, and as you can see, it looks very nice. We've basically got some images here of Dino Mike Max painted version as well, and again, sculpt-wise, it looks really nice. It feels like his articulation as well has been improved, which is a huge plus for these figures. I'm very excited to see these in hand at some point in the near future. There is also... An Ultimasaurus, if you can believe it. Again, how cool is that to have an Ultimasaurus in this line as well? And again, articulated is definitely a plus, but overall it just generally is a really cool looking, kind of more realistic take on an Ultimasaurus, which definitely again looks very nice. On top of that, we also have the Beckel Spinax, and again, it looks absolutely fantastic when it comes to the sculpt and overall appearance, and just generally, again, following in the style of these Paleo Revived figures. Definitely excited for this one. It's probably one of my favorite figures to come from Mattel, so I'll be really excited to get the Dino Mike Mac Paleo Revived version in my collection as well. And the final one of the Wave 2 larger articulated figures is the Utah Raptor. And this one also looks awesome. Definitely very cool to see another feathered dinosaur in the line. And uh, it, again, just looks honestly great from every aspect. Another one that I really cannot wait to get in my hands, get painted up, and of course, showcase for you guys here on the channel. As far as Dino Dream goes, it looks like we've got some more models on the horizon. First of all, we have a different version of the Therizinosaurus coming. Coming. You can see we've got a version of the Therizinosaurus that is going to basically replicate the scene in Jurassic World Dominion where Claire is under the water and the Therizinosaurus basically just lets a very nice roar out. So excited to see that one as they progress on it. And on top of that, they've actually teased a Spinosaurus. Yes, a Spinosaurus coming from Dino Dream, in my opinion, is a dream come true. I've been a massive fan and a huge follower of Dino Dream for years, so the idea of a Dino Dream Spinosaurus is honestly amazing. And they've also actually shared a few different images recently of some of their figures in progress from the factory, giving us basically an idea of what the factory paint samples are looking like. And I must say, it honestly looks like the paint quality from Dino Dream has improved drastically from the last few releases. You know, there were some people that were questioning the quality of the paint on the Giganotosaurus, even though I thought it was really nicely done. But you can see as we move through these images that everything from the Dilophosaurus to the Young Rex to the Adult T-Rex, they all look great. Again, the paint apps look even better than they ever have before when it comes to these amazing Dino Dream models. Then when it comes to Star Ace, they recently had shown off a few new images of some upcoming products on their Facebook and uh, they actually have shown off some Harryhausen models that will be coming soon. But it appears as though they're actually going to be making these Harryhausen models in the style of like stop motion puppets. So I believe if I'm understanding this correctly, you will be able to actually articulate and move them, which will be amazing. Like I absolutely cannot wait to see more when it comes to those. I'm kind of curious as to what the price tag might be, but definitely something that I would really like to get my hands on. We also have a look at this, which shows off the Mosasaurus that they had on unveiled recently but a t-rex skull as well and the t-rex skull looks so nice when it comes to you know a tyrannosaur skull models that look that good are very few and far between also when it comes to the beasts of the mesozoic they've recently shown off this which is our first look at the Beasts of the Cenozoic 118th scale Andrew Sarkis prototype. And I just had recently shared an image on one of my videos of the, you know, basically the art creating the paint scheme. And we now actually see it applied to the figure. And just as I suspected, it looks great. Also, when it comes to Recur, there are some new reveals from them, as we can see a Cynoceratops and Cryolophosaurus from them, and man, like, it is unreal how much Recur has improved. Both of these figures are so unreasonably beautiful, and even the color schemes, like that Cryolophosaurus is so unbelievably striking with those bluish tones, and just in general is such a nice-looking Cryolophosaurus like that, and in my opinion, is far and away the best 
best version on the market, probably the best Sinoceratops as well. So again, Recur continues to blow my mind when it comes to their upcoming releases. And then when it comes to the Jurassic World line, first of all, there is a new Imaginex figure coming, which we can see here is a larger version of like a Baryonyx. I just spotted this on Amazon recently going up for pre-order, and I'm actually kind of tempted, honestly, to get this. I don't buy the Imaginex stuff too often. Every once in a while I do, but this thing just looks looks so cool it is honestly hard to turn away from it i'd really like to see this one in person before i decide to buy it but at the same time kind of tempted to grab that pre-order and the final thing that i have for you guys is the beyond the gates reveal for this month from mattel and again collaborating with target and that would be a brand new hammond collection figure a Raptor ghost so it's not super exciting because we had already seen this revealed at sdcc so we knew it was coming and it's always more fun to actually have something we've never seen before revealed but at the same time it's nice to be able to go ahead and pre-order this Atrociraptor. Raptor and i think as a whole it's definitely a fun looking figure i'll be very excited Excited to see this one in person for sure. I think the figure as a whole is a massive improvement over every other Atrociraptor that we have had from Mattel in the past up until this point and again is a figure that I am extremely excited for the release of even though we've got still quite a few more Velociraptors from Mattel to come that I would like to see released in the Hammond collection like the Tiger Striped Raptor and stuff and maybe reissues of the older like JP3 and Jurassic Park versions because I would like to see them updated with the newer you know more appropriate appropriately sized tail and legs and feet I should say actually more so than legs but we also have again the Jurassic World Raptors we've still got two more of those and again now apparently we're going to have more Atrociraptors because we've got three more Atrociraptors to hopefully get released in the Hammond collection line at some point but starting with Atrociraptor Ghost is pretty fun because I would say it's probably my favorite Atrociraptor overall so very cool to see this one again already up for pre-order on Target's website. So as of right now, guys, that's all the news I've got. When more comes out, I'll be sure to send it your way. But until then, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.